Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we'll be solving an assignment question sent by a student and it is related to balanced y delta circuit and this is quite similar to question number 12.13 of Mr. Alexander and Siddiqui's book. So here is the question. There are three parts. First part we have to find the line current and the phase current. Then we have to find VAB, VBC, VCA, these are the phase voltages. And then we have to find complex power delivered to the load. Uh, the line impedance of 2 ohm excluded. So this will be excluded for the power. Now this is similar to question 12, 13, part A and uh, uh, part 1 is same. Part 2 is not given in that question. And the third part is instead of complex power uh, in the book, they have asked us to find average power. So we'll do both so you have an understanding. The first thing I prefer to do is redraw this circuit. So this way I uh, have a better understanding or better concept. You can see this is the Y connected uh, source and there's a delta connected load. So to find the uh, first part of part A, that is the line currents IA, IB, IC. This current actually I call it I small a capital A for clarity, but anyway, IA is the line current, IA, IB, IC with the small letters, these are the line currents. So the first thing we do is convert the delta load into uh, Y load. For that we just divide the load by 3. So 9 minus J6 will be divided by 3. And now that it is in uh, Y form, we can connect the two neutrals and then we separate this part to solve or to make it easy for us to solve this way. Now in our case, there is a, a resistance also in the line. So in our case, the circuit will become like this. And from here, we can easily find the line current, which is voltage divided by the total impedance. So 110, angle 0, and then 2 plus 3 uh, minus J2. And in all my videos, I try to preach this, that now it's instead of converting this, adding this, and then converting it into polar form, and then dividing and finding the answer, uh, I think it is better that we use the complex mode of our calculator. So for that, we have to go to the mode switch, 2 for complex. So this is the complex mode all in here. And the ease is that now we can select the, this fraction sign. At top we can write 1, 1, 0. Shift angle, this is the angle sign. This, sorry, shift angle 0. So the numerator has been written. Then we come down and we straight away use this or write this. So 2 plus 3 plus sorry, minus J2 or 2I. We, for J we write I. And we move ahead. Equal sign. So this is the answer. But this answer is in rectangular form, we can press SD to get it in more refined form, 18.9 and this is the I terms or J terms. But we can easily go into the complex mode and find the magnitude and angle. So we go to shift and this is complex too. And we'll select R theta mode 3, 3 equal sign. So the answer is 20.42, angle 
So this is the answer 20.42 20 or 41, 21.8. Now that we have found one of the currents, line currents, we can easily find the other two by just adding or subtracting 120 from them. So for IB, we subtract 120. You can see this is the origin zero, and then this one is minus 120. This will be plus 120 when we go to C. So minus 120 is 20, 4, 1, 21, this, and then minus 120. So this is the answer. And similarly for IC, we add plus 120, and this is the answer for I see. So the first part we had found, now we'll find the phase current. Now for phase current, we revert back to the our original circuit. And from here, we can now use the formula. This formula you can use to find IAB. Now this is IAB. IA, or the line current is given by IAB under root 3 into minus 30. And from here, we can find IAB to be IA divided by 3 under root 30. Or we can also write it like this. That with 30 goes up, so it becomes plus 30. Okay, so straight away putting in the formula, this formula, the value of IA, the angle, and then divide by under root 3. And the angles added these two, so this will be the answer of IAB. Here again, we'll use the method of adding and subtracting 120 to find IBC and ICA. So IBC is minus 120 with IA. IA minus 120, so this is IBC. And similarly, ICA will be plus 120. And this will be the value of ICA. So the first part we have found. Coming on to the second part, the phase voltages VAB, VBC, VCA. So these are the phase voltages we have to find. Now that we know the current and we also know the impedance, so we can easily find it. These two we have calculated. From the figure, VAB, VAB is IAB into impedance Z, plugging in the values, and again going into the complex mode, using a calculator in complex mode, we can easily find this answer. Let me just show you. Clear? 1, 1. 0.78 shift angle 51.80 then multiply and let me just put a bracket 9 minus 6i bracket close equal sign so this is the answer and this is in rectangular form again so we'll go to complex mode shift complex to find the magnitude and angle so I have three one twenty seven point four two and angle eighteen point one eighteen point one zero nine or one month. VAB found again VBC and VCA. We just use the angle minus one twenty. So this is VVC and this is VCA. So the second part is found. Now we come to third part. Now, as I mentioned, the assignment questions ask for the complex power. The book has asked only for average power. So we can find them simultaneously if we use this formula. This is the formula for complex power is equal to the average power or real power also. It is called real power and reactive power. 
Now the average power per phase, this one we can form directly also. That is PPP VIP cos theta. This is the real power. And Z theta, the angle of Z theta, 9 minus 6. If we find, try to find the magnitude and angle, we'll get this angle minus 33. Let me show you. 9 minus 6i, we put equal sign, and we go to complex mode, shift, complex, r theta 3, equal sign, and this is in uh, under root form, we'll press SD, that is 10.81 angle minus 33.69. So this angle, has been taken from uh, the uh, load, load impedance from here. There is another definition of this angle also, that is, it can be written as theta V minus theta I, that is voltage angle and current angle. Now, that was a clarification about the theta angle. You could have used that, but the easiest way should be that we find use this formula. And we can use this formula, the other one, and all three. Now, my student has used uh, a formula uh, which is uh, just multiplied the voltage and the current of all three phases. First phase, second phase, third phase, uh, sorry, first, first load, second load, or third load, and then uh, she tried to calculate, but the answer will not be correct. You can see this; these values uh, have been added because we have to use this formula, not plus, but minus. Theta V minus theta I, that is the theta formula. We can use this, but again, uh, let me show you, there is no point using this, because this will be slightly lengthy. Uh, you could have done simplified that we can have found this value and then using the symmetric property, multiplied this by three to get this answer. But the easiest I feel is, to use this value, 3 times V phase, I phase conjugate. 3 VP, IP, VP is 127.46 from here, this, and then the current, the only change for the conjugate is that we have changed the sign of current. This was plus 51.8, because of the conjugate we have put in, minus 51.8 and then when you multiply the 2, 3 into 127.46 shift angle 18.11 multiplied by 11.78 shift angle minus 51.80 so equal you can see it is 374.9 this one and then the right hand side is 2498.6. So this is the answer. Now this answer is for the uh, assignment question, that is the complex power delivered to the load. And from here, if we have to find just the average power as required by question 12, 13, so we can take help of this thing, that is the complex power is average power and reactive power, that means this is the average power. So the average power is 3747.9, uh, 
watt. So remember, complex power has a unit of VA, and average power has a unit of watt. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow this. And I just uh, let me know through your feedback if you have any difficulty. Thank you.